this guy's not even the all. This evening, they would take a walk to the hot road in St. Thomas. Once again, I'm taking a walk to the block road in St. Thomas. I will head to the end of the block road and then turn back. Guys, walking to the other end of the water road, which is closest to the Welsh Mahogany on that side. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Thomas, which is in the center of the island. St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And they don't have no sea, no coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. And behind here is the Carrington's village and you can get a good view of the Scotland district of Barbados which comprises of St. Andrew and St. Joseph and you can see all along to the back behind the Welsh Mahogany south entrance from here as well So this is the ending of the Vaught Road which will take you over to Carrington's village in St. Thomas. So now we're approaching the ending of the Vought Road, the left turn here. We'll take you back to Canfield via Highland Road and Dunscombe and back to Hillaby, which is Barbados' highest point, which borders St. Andrew and St. Thomas. And we'll take you back to Erie Court as well, all in the parish of St. Thomas, all Highland Road here. And this is Carrington's village in St. Thomas that will take you back to. Rex Mahal, Gully North Entrance, and Battle Sturges. And again, this is where my family from my mother's so side was born and raised. Right here at Carrington's Village, St. Thomas. All the Gully 
see here. Oh, Carrington's village in St. Thomas. And you can see the Scotland district of Barbados from here, which comprises of the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph and all the East Coast. That's good. I will go as far as here right now and turn back. And this is Carrington's village. I will look in the East Coast and the Scotland district. And again, this is where my family originated from. My family from my mother's side. Originated from this area here. Like I said before, this road that you're about to can feel via Highland Road, Highland Adventure Center, about a Hillaby, Pori Spring, Dunscan, and the Chalina School, and Airy Cock. And this is the vault road here, back here. So again, I'm in the parish of St. Thomas, which is in the center of the island, which can best be referred to as the heart of Barbados, or the central uplands of Barbados. And there is no sea, no coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados. Back at the Scotland district behind here and all down the village. And the vault road where my family originated from as well. So the area is referred to as the vault road because of the Williams vault that is in the heart of the village.
this is all the vault road here in St. Thomas. Now approaching the vault now. The Williams Vault. And this is the Welshman Hall, Seventh day Adventist Church, which is in the vault road. So this is the other half of the vault road now. I can back down, I can back down, or back up. Because this way is down. As I said before, this is my village, where my family on my mother's side originated from. The stamp right here. You can see the vault here now, the Williams vault, he's in the heart of the village. And again, this is, we are across part of Zimity, the Harrison's Cave, and that's Mahogany. And again, Harrison's Cave runs all underground here. All under here is Harrison's Cave, St. Thomas. Harrison's Cave itself is just behind here, but really and truly the cave runs all under here. This is the vault here. The Williams vault. Yeah, yeah. And this is the vault road down here. This is the Williams vault here, which is home to the remains of the Williams family. For over 300 years, Mr. Williams, who was the owner, slaver, and slave master of Bashmaha Plantation, he and his family are interred in this vault, and he was in here for over 300 years. It is said that he and his wife and dog. I will come back. I will visit. I will come back. I will pass back through here. So this vault is also known for its supernatural activity that was associated with it. But they say that the coffins tend to move about within the vault. Some say it's a myth and some say it's a true story. So this is the Williams vault here. I may pass back. Me not. So this is the end of the vault road now. This is, I mean, this is the half of the vault road. We haven't reached the end yet. We haven't reached the end yet. So my mother, aunts, and great aunts and cousins and someone had their times of running up and down the vault and playing around it as children
So this is the vault road here now. We can back up to the Linear's vault. Back up towards the vault. So, this is all the vault road here. And we're at my house in Thomas. And you can see the other end of the vault road, which we in the vault road refer to, we and St. Thomas refer to as the cat road over here. And this is the house that the escorts band used to perform at. When the escorts used to perform, the escorts band, the, um, Shirley Stewart and them, and Carolyn Leacock. Walking down the rock road. And this is the Emmanuel Pentecostal Church here at the bottom of the vault road here, where which was run by a lady named Miss Pam, my mother, and then used to attend revival services here. Then Miss Pam was the pastor here. Emmanuel Pentecostal Church. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, guys. This is the bottom of the vault, but nobody vault, right? Sports bar. So I now reach the ending of the vault road now, approaching Barnet Corner. Many residents from the vault road will refer to this area as Barnet Corner because of a lady by the name of Mrs. Barnet who had a shop here years ago, but she's dead now. So yes guys, I've reached the end of the vault road now. And this road will take you back to the vault as well, back to the cart road and so on so let's go let's reach the end of the vault road in St. Thomas straight ahead on we'll be back we'll to Mahal Mayor Road and we'll be back to Bridgetown and this way to the, the um, Harrison's Cave and we'll reach Mahal Gully South Entrance and by the Sturges and this way back up to the vault. Thanks for watching guys and have a blessed evening.